everybody, it's Kim Hawk, and I am here with the Near Disney Neighbor segment that we're doing. We happen to be in the town of celebration with one of my favorite people who is a founding resident, uh, he and his family, right, John? That's right. Uh, let's see, we were probably number 10 or something uh, back in 1990. Four or five, I think it was 95 when they had the tents out there yes. and they did the lottery and the whole thing. And uh, we were about the 10th family to move in. And I think, now someone's going to correct me, but I think that we um, are now the original in the home residents, first ones to be there. Everybody else has moved somewhere else, but I we've been in the same so. house. Yeah. I, I, I think so. I think so. Because I'm one of the founding residents too. And I love that you're still in the main village because everybody that's out there knows how valuable being in the main village a celebration is because you get to walk to downtown and... Oh yeah. And I remember, I mean, back when it was being built, um, I'll tell you a story. Yeah. Um, we were in love, you know, we were just married for a year. We're still in love, I think. Um, my <laughs> wife and I, and uh, we went and had, while the sticks were up, while it was being built, we had a little picnic in here and did the romantic, you know, uh, picnic, a little wine and things like that. And then a Disney security guard came up and said, um, you got to get off that property. It's oh, not yours yet. <laughs> No, she was super sweet. She was super sweet. But we remember that. You could see all the way to downtown from this house the time this was being built. I love that. So, cool. so John Binkowski, I should have said your last name. Tell us a little bit about your family. Okay. Well, um, my family uh, basically has all been built and grown up here. So we have two kids, uh, Griffin and Natalie. They both now are almost now he's almost 21 so uh they're adults and uh they are going to ucf they have lived in this house their entire lives so we can pretty much built our family here and we have not moved at all now some of our friendly neighbors have moved away from us so we're like might, might be us, might be us. <laughs> no not at all now tell me a little bit about your lovely wife because everybody loves shona so talk about her a bit shona is uh <laughs> an interior designer and is well known uh, within the community, uh, has done some wonderful houses and also uh, backyards uh, here in Celebration uh, and really is, is a fabric of this whole community. So Yes, she definitely is. And so when you're speaking about what Shona does, let's talk a little bit about John. Um, we have a celebrity in our midst sitting right beside me right now. And I know that globally you are very well respected for entertainment, uh, theme parks, that kind of stuff with the Renaissance Entertainment Group. Yes. So, um, yeah, my bread and butter is theme parks. So I've grown up in theme parks. I actually uh, worked at SeaWorld. My first job was I was a costume character. So anybody who goes, how do you get in the business? I'm like, go put on a suit um, <laughs> and uh, grew up with the SeaWorld parks. Then I retired in uh, 89, got a gold watch and everything. And um, started a company called Renaissance Entertainment and that company's been going uh, strong and uh, we work only for a few clients, Disney, Universal, uh, a few folks in China um, and the probably know us for if you've been to Universal Studios uh, and seen the Bourne Stuntacular which is uh, there, that was something that we were happy to be involved with with our friends from Universal. And let's not forget to talk about all the movies that you've been doing. So are, how many movies now? Six? Six movies now. Um, we started doing that back in 2008. Uh, we shot our first movie and uh, we have used Celebration, I think, in just about every movie that we've done in one little way or fairly big way. Uh, in the uh, town of, uh, well, I wouldn't call it a town, but in Artisan Park, uh, in Artisan, we uh, actually shot there when it was first opened, uh, when we shot our first uh, film. And then we've been downtown and around. Uh, now, Christmas Karen, which is our latest film, well, a lot of it was shot uh, downtown. It was shot at a lot of the uh, merchants, uh, a lot of the restaurants, uh, every, you know, even Jeter Bend, we shot on the street. So uh, it's, been, it's been great. Uh, being able to shoot everything here in celebration. Yes, and you know what we've been talking about with the other people that we've interviewed is that we, our Near Disney YouTube channel, has this theory that Walt's legacy was not just theme parks. It was about creating communities. 
and it's the 100th anniversary of the Walt Disney Company this year. And so when you think of legacy, what, what kind of legacy would you like to leave behind? Me? Yeah, you and your family. I can think of several already that you should claim. Well, the legacy are children, and I think they're cool people, and I, I, I see them uh, living here in celebration. Now, they probably don't, but they, I see them carrying on, uh, having grandchildren here and everything else. So I, I think our biggest legacy is the kids. Yes, I love that. And I would also say your legacy, you know, we know how hard people work in order to create special events. You and I both sure. have put some big events on. Oh, yeah. And our friends on Jeter Bent, mm -hmm. you know, put a lot of work. And I believe that that street has been retired now from doing their Christmas lights and, and Halloween, and you have pretty much immortalized them in film. Yes. So that's a cool legacy that you that have. That is true. Yeah, it is c cool that we have six films, and we have, we did feature actually this house as a, and we tried to make it, as, it was very difficult because Celebration's so happy and everything. We tried to make it kind of a spooky looking house uh, for a paranormal movie that we did. So that will live in the world of the internet forever um, and uh, a lot of other things. So yes, we're happy that Jeter Bend is also part of that you know, legacy building that we're doing. That's yes. cool. And I recall uh, the Billick's home was used in yes. one of your movies too. Yes, another movie called Because of Charlie. And that was a special one to all of us, including the Billicks, because all of us lived through um, Hurricane Charlie in 2004. And everybody that on the cast and the crew, 99% um, of them all went through Charlie. So they were all reliving that. Uh, so that movie is p particularly special. And John Billick even told me a story where he was there in the middle of the night looking down the street and saw a microburst, you know, coming towards him. And he ran and jumped into the bathroom to protect himself, leaving his wife, Petey, outside. <laughs> Sorry, John, Petey. did I tell you that? Did so sorry that? about that, Petey. <laughs> we love the Billicks. They're also founding residents that are here. So talk to me a little bit about your why. Why did you want to move to Celebration Florida with your family? Well, um, <laughs> before that, we were, uh, I was a proud mobile home owner uh, and lived in a mobile home and got married. And we said, let's let's get a house. And then all of a sudden this, this came up and we thought, this is impossible. But thank goodness to uh, folks like Michael Eisner and, and the folks who, uh, like uh, Tom Sunderberg, who is a resident here, uh, was a resident here and, and was very much involved in the building of this place. Um, that uh, we were like, well, we want to be part of this. This sounds really kind of cool. So we did the everything everybody else did. We did the lottery, got a horrible number, uh, but luckily we hung in there and our number came up and we were able to pick this uh, lot. So it was really cool. And you have an incredible lot. This area, this park was one of the most photographed parks when Celebration first opened. Because I think mm -hmm. what happens is uh, you're close to town, but you also have like a quiet little hub over it, here. It right? is. It's nice. Uh, veranda, uh, the park and everything is so nice. And I do remember uh, back when it first opened, when they first kind of opened up a few homes that were uh, happening, there was there were troops of people with clipboards and everything, all from different universities and things, all learning about this new development of this community and everything. <laughs> They're walking down the place. And, and I'm so bummed out because I remember, and I think it was Good Morning America, uh, Good Morning America was going to do a huge thing right out on the lawn and we got inundated with a storm and they moved it somewhere else because right out on the Veranda Park we were going to have Good Morning America here and I was going to be like on my porch going, Ugh. but it, it, weather, weather. We still, you know, I, I, I try to convince people that Celebration has this big dome that comes over when it rains, but no, that's not the case. <laughs> Well, it is a pretty magical place. So can you uh, tell us maybe some of your favorite events that have happened here in this town? Well, we, of course, you know, we love Halloween. Um, and we we have been a part of a couple of different really interesting events that have taken place. There was one time downtown where they had a whole uh, group of our kids were involved in it, dancing to Michael Jackson's Thriller and everything in that event. Um, you know, we like the Founders Day events because we like to strut around and go, that's right. One of the first 10 families. Um, so we, we, we love those kinds of things. And of course, Christmas is 
fantastic stuff. So. Yes, of course, A Christmas Care. Everybody, please make sure you stream this movie. I had the honor. Thank you very much for inviting us out. We were interviewing the cast. You have an incredibly talented, beautiful, food. wonderful, spirited, that's a good word though, spirited <laughs> cast that was in it too. And they've worked, a couple of them have worked on a couple of movies with you, right? Yes, they have, particularly uh, Michelle Farron. Uh, Michelle uh, plays Karen in this uh, movie. And uh, she also was in our very first movie. So she's been with us for that one, The Visitant that w took place here. Um, she's just a super special lady and funny. And yes, a lot of people. It's very, very local. That's why we like it. We're, we're Florida folks. Yeah. So when you moved to Celebration, was it local that you came here? Or yes, yeah. yes. We were, uh, I was living in a little mobile home uh, in a, a test park that was done on Turkey Lake Road, which has since closed. But we moved here. Um, and this has been our only home that uh, Shona and I have owned together. So we were, we've were we been married for 27 years. We've been here for 26 and a half years. Uh, so really our whole you know, adventure has been taking place in celebration. Ah, uh, and we're blessed to have you guys. If you were to add anything else to celebration, is there anything that's missing from the town that you would like us to get this word out to all those people that can maybe make some things happen? The other thing that I'd really like to see is I'd love to be able to see the movie theater come back. Oh, good, and, yes. And uh, you know, I, and I'm sure there's a lot of people that are definitely uh, saying that. I, I understand that parking will be, would be an issue, so that would have to be worked out. But Well, you know, the you person know. that we interviewed prior to you, Susan Bonham, made the recommendation that she thinks a parking garage should go down there. Yeah. So let's add her parking garage and your idea of let's, and let's open up the movie theater as a movie theater. Is that what the idea is? There's yeah. two screens. Do you think we could do two screens or do you think... What, what, what's your idea? Would one screen be for something else or both? Yeah, I mean, uh, theaters have gotten very... Uh, creative lately um, with becoming cinema pubs where you can eat and also watch a movie but they also do um, plays inside the theater if you've got a proscenium you've got the lighting and you can do uh, events concerts yes. uh, take place so uh, I look at it as more of a special event area that can play movies as well so uh, that that would be what I what I would think so then um, we can bring some things uh, to the stage and that would be lots of fun I love that. Would you ever host maybe a filmmaking uh, seminar for the or something like that? Some type of I, absolutely. I, In fact, I think a celebration film festival would be tons of fun. Uh, of course, they would only feature. Uh, films that we made. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love that. Well, definitely have yours included and then add some more. Yes. Why not? Yeah. I mean, a Celebration Film Festival, I think, would be terrific. There's lots of great filmmakers here. And look, there's some wonderful film festivals. Uh, the Florida Film Festival is great. The Orlando Film Festival is great. Uh, the Central Florida Film Festival is great. Um, this could be just one that could be more of a community one where maybe people in the community who wanted to show off things that they've done get a chance to put something up. You know, it's a community thing. Uh, what a great interview. You have been such a wonderful friend to Rod and I, and Shona has as well. And I just want to thank you again. This is, you're one of, I think if Walt was walking down the street and he said, Kim, who, whose door should I knock on? I would run to your front door and say, you have to meet John and Shona and their family. And so thank you again for everything that you did for our town. You did not have to film here. And it was wonderful that you did. And I love seeing shots of what, you know, uh, Front Street, Market Street looks like with the tree up. And like I said, with Jeter Bend, I, that meant a lot to me to see that you were immortalizing some people's hard work for a very long well, time. Well, Slaters are fantastic people. And, and it's great to be able to do do stuff like that. And I do want to say that I love my wife. She's so major, so major and so magical and so wonderful and just be on the other side of the camera. So uh, She is. We're going to put some photos up of her but because we're going to make sure she's included in this for yes. sure. Oh, I love my mother-in-law too, Linda Barrett. Uh, and the kids, uh, Griffin, <laughs> Natalie. Okay. I love the cat. Okay. Here we go. I love the cat. All right, you guys. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we appreciate you joining us every week on Celebration Porch. And we're going to be also putting this one on our Near Disney YouTube channel because we want everybody to know about the Near Disney neighborhoods. And you are definitely a shining neighbor in one of those. Great. Great. Well, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Bye. Go watch A Christmas Karen. Please. Please. <laughs>
make sure that you subscribe and like so that we can continue to give you up-to-date information on all things that are going around the 25 mile radius of Cinderella's castle because this is truly a magical place to live.